Welcome to A Word From The Wise, the Soul Wise podcast. We come to you the beginning of each month where we talk about products that we do, uh, news in the industry and uh, just anything that we think you might be interested in. You can hear us on Spotify, Amazon Music. We can be seen on video on YouTube uh, or just find us wherever you normally get your podcasts from. Hello, everybody, and welcome to A Word From The Wise. Um, Steve joins us this month. It's been a while since you've joined us on the podcast, Steve, so mm -hmm. thank you very much. And in a bid to try something new at Solwise, we've uh, got some trackers. Oh, right. So I thought you meant a new way of presenting them, right? All oh, right, no. It's a, a new product range for us, really. New product range, yeah. So these are from Teltonica, who we, are, uh, we already like anyway, so we know they've got good quality products. But we're going to try out the beacons and the sensors. So what, what, I suppose the first question is, is what's the difference? Okay. <clears throat> which one this one is that one is a sensor that's the sensor right what these are are um they're similar to what's that apple product the, tagging, oh, the tags yeah yeah the, yeah the, it's yeah. it's similar technology there but it's ramped up for more of a commercial uh, environment right um industrial environment so uh, you've got two products here. So you've got the beacon, you've got the sensor. I don't know which one it is. Oh, this is yeah. the sensor. Yeah, that's the sensor. Okay, the, the sensor is very much like the Apple product. Right. Um, so all it does is this sends out or tries to connect to a Bluetooth receiver. Yeah. And all it does is it says, I am here. Right, okay. So you have some software running on your receiver which can analyse and process that information. So what, what is the receiver? Is that like an app on your phone or is that... It can be an app yep. on your phone, uh, but these really aren't in, uh, designed for that world. Oh, okay. What you would have... I'll give you a typical example of what these products can be used for. If you had a building site yep. and you had loads of equipment on the building site that you wanted to keep track of and right. monitor, yeah. Um, a, a number of things, not just where they are, but with the right products, you can say um, the humidity, temperature, everything else. Mm -hmm. So what you, what you do is you have your sensor or your beacon product actually on the thing that you're trying to track, the thing that you're trying to monitor. Yeah. That sends Bluetooth to a, a gateway device. Yeah. Now, a gateway device could, for example, be one of the Teltonica FMB vehicle tracking devices. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the vehicle tracking device, FMB product, for example, in this instance, what that does is then that then sends the data out to your, your server. Right, okay. Um, now, the server could actually be local. I suppose you could actually have a local server, but it's really intended for remote management. So right. you might have a remote server which takes that data. So the beacon data has come to the gateway device. The gateway has sent it to your server out there on the internet. Yeah. And that then is collating and tracking using that data for whatever purpose. Yeah. Um, now, you could do it, you could use an app on a mobile phone. Yeah. But they're not really designed for that sort of just talking to my, to my phone type application. So if you used your scenario of a building site, if you had one of these on all of your trucks or all of your um, pieces of equipment, yes. you know, like a drill for instance, yes. you could see who's got the drill. Could you put them on people, do you think? You could put them on people and I believe one of the applications, which I can't find, uh, mentioned by Teltonica is actually put them on a key ring. Oh, that's, yeah, that's an so idea, yeah. You could actually monitor people. Um, but if you were doing that then on, on a building mm, site, for instance, you could see which person has got which drill and where it is. Mm, does it narrow down as far as specifically where it is? It, it narrows down for where it is, but purely um, the sensor is very limited. Yeah. Sorry, the beacon is very limited. Yeah. The beacon just basically says, Kui, I am here. But it right. doesn't say where it is, it just says, I am here. Yeah. And the only way you've got of measuring where it is, is by looking at how strong the Bluetooth signal is that your gateway has picked up. Yeah. Now, 
Bluetooth has a very variable range. It can be literally from six feet up to several yards. Yeah. So well, Teltonica suggests eighty meters, yeah. which seems a bit of a stretch to me. Yeah, but, you know, I think that's. Mm. I suspect that's probably in a very, uh, uh, maybe an open warehouse with nothing in the way. Poetic licensing yeah. is going on there. Yeah. So this one then, the beacon then, I suppose if you were a contractor on a built on that building site and you took your own tools. Yes, you took your own tools onto site. When you get you, to the end, you can see if you've yeah, got Yes, so you could actually put one of these, there's various free apps. Yeah. So you could, at its very basic level, have one each on your power tools. I mean, these are only, what, 20, 30 quid. Yeah. Um, your power tool might cost you several hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah. So yes, you could actually fix one of those on your power tool. And um, when you got to your van at the end of the day, obviously you could check to make sure where it is basically yeah. so you can say oh by the way you should have to lift it on the side or something like that yeah um so they have a 10-year battery life up to 10 years wow. so they're nice and sealed um there was rumors at the start that you're going to have a replaceable battery but the idea seems to have been done now and how waterproof are they could like you, can you leave them all oh, right so you can you throw can it in outside pool. yeah you can throw it in a swimming pool yeah. leave it there for a week come back and it should, it should basically be right. okay yeah so they are like that obviously emphasizes this industrial um outdoor environment that these really yeah. are intended for. Well, you couldn't do that with the Apple product, you just No, die. no, no. Well, no, that was a normal retail product, really. Wasn't I think it? it had a very limited battery life, the Apple product, didn't it? Well, was it about a year or so? Yeah, I think it was a year sure. top whack Yeah, it wasn't a lot. Like yeah. that. But then they were only cheap and cheerful as well, yeah. weren't they? So. Well, these aren't too expensive, I don't think. No, so you've got two. Not. You've got the, the Beaker one. Yeah. That just says, I am here. Yeah. Um, that's very much like the Apple product. In fact, it actually supports the Apple protocol as well as the Android protocol, which I think is called Eddystone, the Android protocol. That's right, yeah. So I've actually got that written down as one of my questions, asking what the difference was. Um, and it specifically had mentioned Eddystone and iBeacon protocols. Yes, um, iBeacon's the Apple thing. Right. But it's a very, very limited protocol. Yeah. All it can do is say, oh, there's a beacon. Yeah. I am here. Right. That's all it can say. Um, the Eddystone standard incorporates capabilities for loads of other data to be sent across. So that's, so that's where the, the sensor. sensor comes in. So okay. the sensor can be used as a simple beacon if you want, but yeah. it would be a bit dark doing that. Absolutely. Um, but what it can also do is it does humidity, yeah. motion detection, magnetic influence. So you could actually put it. Uh, you could put it on a door yeah. with a magnetic sensor, so the door open and close, that sort of thing. Right, okay. You could put it on a, um, a doorway going in and out of a warehouse, for example, and it could detect the vehicle going in and out, so you can count vehicles going backwards and forth, that sort of thing. Right, okay. Uh, so it does uh, humidity, temperature, motion, yeah. it picks it up, it will send a signal. So if you had it on a, piece, on a piece of equipment and suddenly it moved, mm -hmm. well, why is that suddenly moved? What's going on here? Um, in fact, one of the examples um, given by Teltonica, which these are worth getting, getting your hands on, these are quite good ones. So what we'll do is those that you've got there is we'll, we'll put them in a PDF and we'll put them yeah, a, a, yeah, link, just, a link in the uh, yeah, that's, notes underneath. That's basically a fault lift going in and out. Yeah. Um, that's the famous power tool ones that we're talking about. Yeah. Um, this is quite a good one. This is um, if you're in a haulage yard. Yeah. And you have the tractor unit with the trailers. Yeah. Um, the trailer can actually talk to the tractor unit. Right. Okay. Now, I thought uh, so. One of the things you can do with that is you can um, you can say, "Am I connected to the right trailer?" Oh yeah, that's sensible, isn't it? So, could you, if you were track, if you had a bunch of these, can you number them so that you know that, um, say, beacon one yeah. goes with beacon one A and beacon two well, goes every, with beacon two A. Well, every beacon has a unique name which you can also customize. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yes, you. So could, yeah, you could do that then. You could bake base them. So that's um, tractor units pulling up to trailers. Have I got the right one? Yeah. Because uh, it would then talk to the tractor. You know, they basically yeah, yeah. sort themselves out. So I thought that was quite a good application. That is a good one, yeah. Uh, that's going in and out. Um, that's it, monitoring if you have cold storage on vehicles. Well, I was going to ask like about that. that. Could you have it say like in a server room or something like that yep. for monitoring you temperature? You have it in a server room. Yeah. Um, the only thing you've got to check is um, 
they really need, uh, they've got to have this gateway to talk to. Yeah. That's what they're designed to do, talk to a gateway. Now, a gateway can be a specialist product like an FMV product from Toltonica. Yeah. That's their vehicle tracking things that do more than just talk to beacons. They do loads of yeah. um, monitoring via the CAN bus in a vehicle, what it's doing, its range, its speed. I don't know. Um, so if you were using it in that situation then, does it report back? So if you did have it in a server room, for instance, it would report back if there well, was a big change in temperature? Well, yes, but you need a, you need a program somewhere. Yeah. So what's going to happen is the, the beacons talk to the gateway. Yeah. The gateway sends all of that data to a server somewhere. Yeah. You've got to have some software running on that server to take advantage of that data okay and now, are there is there software readily there's loads available of commercial that? products off the shelf for a load of different applications there's yeah. retail applications you mentioned these irritating ones where when you get close to a cabinet in a store or something it starts spouting off oh, your it yeah, yeah. yeah so there's applications that do that sort of thing there's vehicle tracking applications um, they're all out there yeah uh, obviously pay for so none of, none of them are free um, there is also a um, an open server right. type API. I've noticed that you can get if you actually want to customize and produce your own server software. Um, obviously, for somebody who really knows what they're doing. Yeah. So um, they are they are great products. What else we got here? Um, yeah, that's the store one. When you get close to a shelf, it starts pontificating. Yeah, about that, that's it. when it, I remember I went to the cinema some years back, and uh, as I walked in, it sent me a message saying, you know, welcome to our cinema. Mm, I won't say mm. which cinema chain it is, but. Uh, yeah, they said, welcome to our cinema, if you want to buy some sweets, you know. Pretty can, actually, but you might get some sponsors. Well, to where we're actually, because I think they've gone bust. Oh, okay. So that, that's the reason. That's a, that's, a, that's a good one. That's actually using it on um, wheelie bins. Oh, uh, right, yeah. Commercial wheelie bins. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, um, the vehicle, the, the waste lorry, as it's going along, can actually... It can tell which bins it needs it can, to be emptying. Yeah. I noticed that because the bin lorry came here this morning, but it didn't empty our bin. So I queried it, and it's because it wasn't the contractor that empties our bin. So mm. that would make sense in that, that would situation, sense. wouldn't it? They empty the right bins. Yes. Yeah. I suppose technically you could even rig up some form of system whereby it would detect if there's actually anything in the bin. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if it had a bit of scale in or something, yeah, so it could tell the weight of what was in there. I do know, but there was product or project we were looking at years ago where it was actually um, there were strain sensors on the wheelie bin yeah so it could tell how full it was right. so if you had a strain sensor on the wheelie bin the wheelie bin could actually realize how full it is and yeah. something maybe something worked out yeah. that way but that sort of information and data was there but of course because they select motion if the wheelie bin as the wheelie bin gets picked up into the back of the vehicle yeah it could actually tell you because it will actually tell you which access it's moved in right okay so, so you it could actually say yes that was tipped and emptied at such and such a time yeah so not just oh it's been moved yeah but it's actually been tipped it has actually so you can get so, so i suppose you could also in a similar vein when if someone's pinched it <laughs> you could in a similar because it'll be a different with... access won't it, it be well the only problem you've got away. with that is obviously you're limited by the range of the transmitter oh that's true yes, yeah bit. you did mention that so yeah. but if you have them in a yard yeah you could actually have a gateway device in the yard yeah which could actually wake itself up and go hold it why has that wheelie been moved or I've just lost my signal connection to that wheelie bin. Mm. So that must mean it's got out of range. Why has it got out of range? Yeah. So you could do that sort of thing. The, uh, so people who already have a Teltonica router from us, is uh, is there any way they could use these in with that as the gateway? Or? Some of them can. Yeah. Um, uh, for example, the X12 and the X14 routers, yeah. the uh, 4G routers, I believe the um, Ethernet routers, I'm thinking the X10, I think, has functionality. Obviously, it's got to have Bluetooth capability built into the router because right, it's Bluetooth that makes signal. Sense, yeah. But only uh, only the really recent Teltonic routers have got capability. Generally, the real X ones. Mm, even then, I checked them, not all of them. Yeah. 
but that may be just because they haven't got around to write a firmware. That's fair, yeah. So the ones I know at the moment are the X12 and the X14. Okay. I would not be surprised if something like the X50 or something like that, the new 5G one, I'm surprised if that probably has a firmware update slated on the cards. Yeah. I'm saying the X50, have they got Bluetooth? I'm not sure to be honest. Well, we can check that, can't no, we? No, no, yeah. But anyway, um, so yes, yeah, some of the Teltonic routers do actually support this functionality. So what they will do is they will act as the gateway device. So they will collate the data from the beacons and send it to your chosen server. Yeah. Are these specific for the UK or can you use them anywhere? Or It's an international standard. They can yeah. be used anywhere. They've got loads of different um, standards stamped on the back for just about any country you want to think of. So obviously Europe, yeah. that sort of thing. Uh, the UK, UKCA, all that sort of thing. Yeah. So it is an international standard, so technically they can be used anywhere in the world. Made in Europe as well, which uh, will, I suppose, from a security concerns of that a, a lot of people seem to be coming up with recently. It's, yeah, uh, quite nice. it's, it's made in It is made in Lithuania. Made in Lithuania. Yeah. Um, and Teltonica are getting big out there. They They've are. Some yeah. big manufacturing plants are opening out there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's got a battery in it, so that's how it's powered, you, it, it, so we don't need to worry about that then and just... They say normally 10 years. I did actually read today what they meant by 10 years um, and it was all to do with updating. They don't, they're not constantly sending a signal out yeah. and you can set on them when you have the, the little configuration app comes from Teltonica yeah. and on the little configuration app you can say how frequently it sends out its information. Right. Um, I think if you want it for 10 years, you've got to say, well, I only, I'm only interested in an update every 30 seconds. Right. But for a lot of well, these applications, that's, that's, that's 30 that's seconds enough, is isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, it, and using that app, that, that's dead easy for it to set them up, is it? Yeah. 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 I just heard it, it scanned the neighborhood. You obviously got to have Bluetooth enabled on your phone, yeah, yeah, that yeah. sort of thing. And the only thing I had to do was I had to go through and in the security seconds of Bluetooth on your phone, you've got to say, allow my, that to connect, that to connect, that to connect, that to connect. Yeah. Obviously, they're usually blocked off with Bluetooth. And yeah. Then it just basically found them and you can select them and then you go to customization of them, that sort of thing, you know, change their name or update periods and that sort of thing. And for anyone who's listening as opposed to watching, they're not very big, are they? So they're nice and discreet, um, really. Absolutely. Well, coming from the world of uh, electronics, many, many moons are crow. These are very similar to a surface mount power fet. Right. <laughs> I was going to say they're about the size of a 50 pence piece. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I would say that these probably are built into the housing of a power fet, judging by the, the shape and the yeah. way they fix. So, yeah, these are designed to be obviously pot riveted or whatever to your surface. So they're not really designed as something yeah. that comes off. But you could put them on a key ring. If you actually want, you could definitely family. could. Yeah, they're, well, they're about the size of a, a, an Elizabeth Shaw chocolate. There, so that's what I was thinking of. You know, the ones mm. you get at Christmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one that my dad always eats too many of. Yeah. Uh, well, I think that's pretty much uh, all the questions. Oh no, what about? Um, what, I was going to ask about if you would put something in the post, but that's not going to work then, is it? If it's all done through Bluetooth, so you couldn't no. really track something in the post. Um, one application that I did see out there on the internet, not necessarily on Teltonica's site, was actually putting them in your suitcase. Yeah. Obviously, using an app on your phone, you could tell if it's suddenly, if it's on the carousel somewhere or something like that. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Ma not yeah. massive range, yeah. so but a carousel at an airport would probably be would right. Be enough, wouldn't so it? So you could yeah. just literally just chuck one in your suitcase. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, they like say cheap as chips, so you yeah, just yeah. chuck one in your suitcase and you could actually then tell if it's if it's come out on the carousel. That's a good idea, yeah. Because I have been in that situation myself where something came out of the carousel and somebody took the cases off the carousel. Yeah. They thought they were theirs, took them right. off the carousel. Yeah and left them in a corner. Yeah. So we were stood there waiting for the stuff to come off the carousel. Of course, it gets to the end and there's nothing more coming out of the carousel. And you go, oh, bloody hell, what's going on here? <laughs> you know. But you got them back in the end, I assume. Yeah, we got them yeah, back well, in the end right, because then. there was nothing else coming. We went and yeah. knocked on some security guys. They said, oh, yeah. yes, we found these lying in a corner. They're over here. Right. But with that, you probably could have tell. You could have, yeah, you, you could, could have. have said, well, no, that has actually come off the carousel. Yeah. But I'm getting a signal from it. So I know it's in this room somewhere. Yeah. So you. Someone else has got it's it. not still on a plane or yeah. in Austria or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Thank you much. I must get my hair cut. <laughs>
And you've not graced us with one of your uh, fancy shirts this time either. No, Anne just, just decided she doesn't like them. No. So I'm, I'm wearing my seven quid um, screw fix t shirt today. Yeah. That looks very smart. I'm quite impressed by these for seven quid. Yeah. Uh, maybe that could be another advert that we shouldn't be mentioning. Yeah. Maybe we'll get sponsored by Screwfix Maybe next get sponsored time. by Screwfix. <laughs> Excellent for selling quick. Can't Indeed. Go yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay, and okay. And we'll see you next time. Ta-ra. Thank you for watching or thank you for listening, whichever you chose to do. Uh, if you normally listen, by all means, come and have a look at us over on YouTube if you want to scare yourselves. If not, just find us wherever you get your normal podcasts from. Thank you very much. See you next month.